Good afternoon, and welcome to the news. One more person has died after testing positive for coronavirus in Northern Ireland. According to the latest figures, from the Health Department, there have been a further 146 positive tests for COVID-19 in the past 24 hours. Meanwhile families across Northern Ireland are being asked to celebrate Mother's Day this weekend responsibly. Speaking earlier this week the First and Deputy First Ministers acknowledged that people would want to mark Sunday and the upcoming Street Patrick's Day. However they appealed for everyone to follow the current coronavirus restrictions which prevent the mixing of households indoors. This Sunday marks our second Mother's Day in this pandemic, when many will be relying on cards, phone calls and online messages to carry our love and appreciation, said Miss Foster. I would ask everyone, whatever your situation, to take as much care as possible, and follow the health guidelines to the letter. Ms O'Neill said, I know, especially after a hugely difficult year, that you will want to see your mummy on Sunday. We are on the cusp of brighter days, but we are not out of the woods. So please celebrate Street Patrick's Day in your home, with your own family. Another news. Fans flocked to social media on Saturday to share their support for Sarah Harding after she wrote of her brutal battle with cancer. The Girls Aloud singer shared details of her diagnosis and treatment in full for the first time, devastating fans with the news that she has just months are left to live. Sarah, who was diagnosed with breast cancer just last summer, told in an excerpt of her new book, Hear Me Out, published in The Times, that she had been told Christmas 2020 was probably her last. Peter Andre wrote on Instagram, thinking of you Sarah. PLC stay strong, and keep fighting. Love from all of us. I'm a celeb star, broadcaster Victoria Derbyshire shared the thoughts of many when she tweeted, this is devastating and important from at Saran Harding in at Times magazine. Finally. Earlier this week, Piers Morgan announced to IF he will be leaving Good Morning Britain, but he will still remain on the IF channel to carry on making programmes. It comes after the 55-year-old presenter faced backlash after making outrageous comments about Meghan Markle, and Good Morning Britain lost over 300,000 viewers. In an Oprah Winfrey interview, the Duchess of Sussex explained how she at times felt suicidal. In response to her mental health struggles, Piers said on GMB, Who did you go to? What did they say to you? I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she said, Meghan Markle. I would not believe it if she read me a weather report. That's it all for us for now. Our next update will be at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Until then, thanks for watching, and have a great weekend.